Cyber Chase, the series now celebrating its 20th anniversary. I sat down with acclaimed actor Christopher Lloyd to talk about the show and his impactful career. They're not yours, Tully. Now, back to the future. What did I tell you? Thank you so much for talking with us. We're going to get to Cyber Chase in just a moment. But first, what do you think is your preference? You do animations, you do movies, you do theater. What's your favorite genre? Well, my roots kind of go back to the theater. I did a lot of theater for some time before I started doing film. Uh, so it's always nice when I go back to New York and do a play. Um, it's my like old home. But I, I love doing films and TV. I, I'm not that selective. Whatever comes up next, that's where I'll be. Marty, you made it. A lot of people, of course, know you from Back to the Future, The Addams Family, Taxi, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. What attracts you to these really iconic, unhinged characters? First of all, I'm delighted to be offered the, the opportunity. Uh, I, I, I seem to have kind of a facility uh, for characters, for creating different characters. And I love doing it, you know, whether it's whatever it takes, costume, hair. Do you have a favorite kind of character? We noticed there was a little variety kind of from your norm uh, when you played the grandfather in Tender Bar recently. Thank you for taking me. Oh, don't tell anybody I'm a good grandfather. Everybody will want one. <laughs> Right, right. It, uh, I uh, surprise me. <laughs> Offer me a character, and, uh, and I'll do it. I don't favor any one character over the other. Each one is kind of an exciting opportunity to come up with with something new. And, and of course, with Cyber Chase, you play the hacker, um, and yes. he's really a, a villain. But at the same time, you're able to. Um, really teach kids. Uh, three words for you half baked backups. Get me out of here! <laughs> You're talking about water pollution or climate change, biodiversity. Um, what attracted you to the role of the hacker? He's such a vain silly kind of character. I'm going into the pond of power. So he has such exaggerated feelings about himself and his importance and all that. And I love that in, in each episode, he has some kind of purpose. He wants to do things that are not good for society necessarily, but good for himself. So the kids are learning mathematics as a way of foiling the hacker and his devious plans. And okay, uh, so it's a, a great teaching device. And the way the writers put it, it's very entertaining. How would you describe Cyber Chase for a, a parent, for a kid who's never seen it? It's an animation, and it's entertaining for parents, but particularly for the kids to watch their heroes undo the hackers' dominance. There's such an educational value to it all. You have more than 240 uh, movies and television shows with a name credit on, on those. Do you have a favorite character? A new chapter. Oh, well, there are a lot of them. Uncle Fester, certainly Doc Brown. Even the character of my first movie, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Tabor. I've done a lot of cameo roles. There's roles, and among them, there are certain roles that I love doing. Can you give us an idea, anything, a little taste of, of what's coming up with Christopher Lloyd? There's one thing I'm doing. They really want everybody to respect uh, privacy. More to come. All right, Mr. Lloyd, we thank you so much for your time and, and talking with us today. Appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. And you can watch the premiere of Cyber Chase this Friday on PBS Kids. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.